week challenge. Uh, what is whining for you? Do you know how often you do that? Do you know how it damages your life? And do you know how to actually effectively complain without screwing yourself and without screwing your life? Whining of any kind is damaging for you and you are actually cursing yourself and you are cursing others. Any type of ineffective complaining, sounding annoyed, judging of yourself, of other people, of situation, being offended by look and behavior of another person is not allowed this week. Do you accept the challenge? There's a big difference between legitimate effective complaining, venting, and whining. So in this video, that's the first part, I will challenge you to stop whining. In part two, I will teach you how to complain effectively and why is it important. And I promise you that the videos will be short and they will, so that's why I have to split it in two different videos and I will be shooting them at different times because this topic is too important to cut it short. After all, I am a spiritual teacher who heals souls like yours with words. And my mission is to help you wake up to your own inner power, regardless of your life circumstances that you are in right now. Effective complaining, venting, and whining are really easy to be distinguished. They are different things. So when we effectively complain, we are voicing fair and legitimate dissatisfaction. And that's very important. And we have a goal to solve or remedy that satisfaction. However, only 5% people on this planet actually do it correctly. The next situation, when we voice legitimate dissatisfaction, but we do so without the goal of solving it, we are merely venting. And some say that it's good to vent. I say, watch out, watch what and how you say, because people will give account for every careless word they speak, because by your words, you will be justified, and by your words, you will be condemned. So think about it. Did you notice that the more you vent about something, the more you have to vent about and you just keep on bringing it to your life over and over and over again. And finally, whining. When the dissatisfaction that we voice are directed toward wrong people, they are trivial or inconsequential, they are not worthy special attention. We are not complaining, we are whining. It sounds something like, I'm tired of, why don't you? What happened? Why do you always? How come you? I, I never. They never. I don't want to. Why should I? How can she? How dare he? You, whatever, or your, whatever, annoys me. Why people do that? It's unfair. You won't believe what happened to me. You know what he did? Oh, that's stupid. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That's whining. Notice what you complain about on daily basis. The weather, 
the, the public transportation, traffic, the spouse, your kids, your friends, your boss, the movie you just saw and you hate, the meal that arrived cold in the restaurant, the sandwich shop got your order wrong, the elevator took too long to come to you, the reality TV show just booted off your favorite, favorite contestants and you're mad and you don't want to watch it anymore, the teenagers behaving differently that you would want them to, um, I don't know, the child crying in the store, Maybe the irresponsible parents that they are shopping with such a young child at 10 p.m. Who does that, right? Whatever it is. And also, we need to note here that some people are chronic complainers. Maybe you know someone who no matter what will whine, will complain, will vent. If you are that person, this week is going to be extra challenging for you. But you will also be able to fill your jar to the brim, right? Because this is a challenge for you this week. I call it no whining week. But if you cannot do it for a week or at least four or five days in a row, try to make this um, challenge no whining Wednesday, for example, for a month. This is actually the inspiration um, that comes from Miss uh, Yanala Vincent, and she coined that concept, No Whining Wednesday. So part one, what's our challenge? Every time you effectively complain, and I will teach you in part two how to complain effectively. Every time you whine, you sound annoyed, you judge yourself, you judge others, you judge situation, you judge life, whatever. You are offended by look and behavior of another person. You will put a quarter in a jar. You can also use it for your kids too, so they can stop whining. If you can, do it for a week. If you cannot, do it on a specific day every week for a month to catch yourself. And after you complete the challenge for at least four days, write in the comments below if you collected more money than you thought possible or how surprised you were with this challenge. Every time you whine, you rehearse your life just like the actor rehearses every day for the role, and you bring to yourself the same stuff again and again and again. This is from a spiritual perspective of cause and effect. There are also psychological effects, and uh, about that I will talk in uh, part two next video. Um, because I promise you that I will teach you how to complain effectively. I already got my quarters and I'm hoping to catch myself every single time for a week. Um, how we complain affects us in substantial ways, many of which we fail to realize. They impact us spiritually, materially, emotionally, physically, and psychologically, psychologically, mentally. But like I said, about it in part two in the next video. I hope that this video is helpful for you. I invite you to comment on your biggest takeaway. Your engagement on this YouTube video in the form of comments and pressing the like button actually helps small but growing creators like myself to continue to grow and bring you content to help you awaken to your own inner power. So that's all for today. Thank you so much and I'm out. Bye. And here is how my book looks like and how the workbook looks like. You can buy it on amazon.com. Like this video, share it and subscribe. Thank you again. Bye.